In practice, at exercise 16.8 switch pairs, we're asked to write a method switch pairs that switches the order of elements in a pairwise function. So the first two are going to be switched, then the third and fourth elements are going to be switched, and so on and so forth. If it's negative, then the final element is not moved. So to start this, we have to write a public uh, void because it's not returning anything called switch pairs. After we have this written, we can make a new list node to look at our list. We're going to call it current and set it equal to the front. After we do this, we need to examine each of our elements. So we're going to have a while loop and then we're going to have it as while current does not equal null. And because we need to see if we have something to switch it with, we need to also do current dot next does not equal null. If we look at our code here, we have to make sure we have a current and a current dot next to switch these. Current and current dot next, current and current dot next. Now if we have an odd number, if we have current and current dot next, these switch, same with these and these. However, we see that we have a current here and we don't have a current dot next. So we'll break out of our while loop, not moving this last value. In here, we need to make a temporary int that will store our very first value. We're going to call it temp. And we're going to set it equal to current dot data. So the first value. Then we are going to set current dot data equal to current dot next dot data. And that gets the next value. So if we use this as an example, we'll be storing three in temp and seven in our new current.data. If we use this as an example, we have our temp storing current.data, which is three. And now we're saying our current.data is equal to current.next data. So now we have seven here. Now we have to have three in this spot. So we're gonna do current.next.data is equal to temp. Once we have this, we have to make sure to increment upwards and that way we can examine all of our elements and break out of our while loop eventually. Normally we would do current dot next or current is equal to current dot next. However, we can't do that here because if we do current dot next, we're going to take this next value and examine it against this four. So we're going to have to do current is equal to current dot next next. This way, um, if we go from these two values, we'll skip over both of them and we'll go here and here, and then we'll skip over both of these and go over and over. That way we don't run into any issues comparing them both multiple times. Once we have this, we can close our while loop and we can close our method and we can submit and pass all seven tests.